Today, I'll be interviewing Rachel Neighbors. Rachel has worked web standards and open source with Mozilla, the W3 Consortium, Microsoft, and led the new React and React Native docs with the core teams at Meta. After leading developer education at AWS Amplify, they're traveling the world and building cool things, as well as reconnecting with community. Rachel will be speaking at the React Summit US conference in New York this November 13th. And for more information on that, I'll put a link in the description. Hi, Rachel. Welcome. Hey, good to see you, Dave. Yes, great to see you. I think you have an unlimited amount of knowledge that my subscribers and viewers would really learn from. And one of the things is you worked on the React core team and the React native team. Can you tell us more about what you did on those teams? Well, I'd be I'd be delighted. I originally joined Meta to work with the React teams. They're now one team, but back then they were split into two. I, as a hybrid technical writer, developer, advocate type person, word to the wise, don't join big companies as hybrids. Eventually you're going to have to pick. And I decided what I would love to do after kicking ass and taking names with the React Native team on a reboot of reactnative.dev was it'd be awesome to do the same with Dan Abramov for the React documentation, which you can now see at react.dev. Awesome. Awesome. Yes, I've enjoyed that documentation already. And maybe it sounds weird to say I enjoy documentation, but there's nothing like clear, easy to read, easy to follow documentations. Thank you very much. I agree. Um, I actually had some experience with documentation, which might be why I got the project, uh, from my time working with the MDN crew to document the web animations API. Before React, I was kind of known for my work with the web animations crew, CSS animations, etc. I traveled the world, kissed babies, and gave workshops on it, as well as writing the documentation for it on MDN. So it's kind of cool how I'm still in the front end space, but slightly different, uh, slightly different audience. Very cool indeed. And now we've got React Summit US coming up. And can you tell us more about your talk and what you're expecting from the summit this year? Well, for this particular talk, I'm going to share with everyone how the React Native documentation piloted some cool things that raised the bar for documentation all across the industry and fed into how we built React.dev. Everything from the interactive sandboxes, which were kind of rare, all the way over to the uh, collaborations around code diagrams and illustrations. It's a really interesting uh, process to unlock, seeing how to make, well, React more accessible to people. Uh, it was just a, a story with many different branching and exciting twists and turns. It also all happened during lockdown and pandemic. I promise the talk is not about the pandemic, but you still have to remember that this is sort of like a good thing that came out of those stressful times. Always nice to look at something good that came out of a time that maybe wasn't so great for all of us. Well, thank you very much for that excellent documentation once again. And one follow-up question now. What do you see as the key advantages of React and why? So I'm going to come at this from a very shrewd and mercenary place. This is the feedback that I give all the kiddos and all the people who are saying, Rachel Lee, what should I do? Should I, should I, which framework should I learn? Um, I feel like this community is more my vibe, that community is less, etc. I always come down to this. Do you want a six figure salary? Because the six figure salaries of the world, the big tech, the big companies, etc. They all use React. You can't go wrong with getting started with React. It will just lead to all the right things in all the right places. Do I think there are other frameworks that might have slightly better developer experience or more potential in the long term? Yes. But if you want to kickstart your career, you can't go wrong with it. Uh, personally, I, I remember building it with uh, Dan Abramov and I as one of our uh, pet projects during the pandemic was he showed me how to build a toy React. And after I saw what was happening under the hood, I was like, oh no, this the magic is gone. This is not magical at all. Wow. Uh, but that said, it's completely backwards compatible. Uh, as far as frameworks go, it is it is the industry standard. And in that regard, you can't go wrong with having an opinion and finding out what you love and hate about React so that you can decide what you're building your future projects in, which may or may not be React. That is an awesome answer. You heard it right here, everyone. Learn React. 
especially if you want that big salary. Say thank you for your time today, Rachel. Looking forward to your talk at the Git Nation React Summit in, uh, in New York this November. And I'll see you there. Thanks so much for having me, Dave. All right. Take care.